gonna be our first LP with a new feature. Which is? Boost mode. Boost mode? Yeah, this is using boost mode. Ah, okay, so what does it boost? It boosts the frame rate. That's cool. But the frame rate was already 60. Does it boost the fact that Janeway's a shit? I was wondering which one of us would crack. I did. Crack on the- Super early. Okay, so wait, this episode goes up today. Yeah. That episode will go up tomorrow. tomorrow. People will figure it out. Janeway is not a very good captain, everybody. <laughs> okay. You know who else isn't a very good captain? Cosmo Curio. Nearly every single <laughs> member of the Tojo Clan Association. Yeah, it seems like every Yakuza game has a bunch of incompetent leaders. Let's hit normal, shall we? Hey, so I, I'm going to wax poetic here. Go, wax. When we did uh, Yakuza's 4, mm -hmm. You know, like, some people were like, yeah, cool, but then it kind of just petered off, and it wasn't one of our, like, most viewed LPs ever at the time. That's correct. But I think now, Yakuza's super over, <laughs> and more people over. are very interested He's in very it. very interested. Yeah. So, and we were doing our Machinima stuff, because you didn't know how anything worked in this new game. Sure, I still don't. You still don't, but still you know a bit more. A little bit. So we decided, like, hey, why not, why not take a second go at it? With with fresh eyes. Well, the most important thing about Yakuza Zero, mm. I'm gonna we're gonna keep calling it because people don't like how I pronounce Yakuza. So Yakuza or yeah, Yakuza? I say Yakuza. I say both. I'm Canadian, <laughs> um, I don't, so I'm gonna say Yakuza. <laughs> That's fine. But what's the most important thing about it? You're saying you can start with this one. I, I've heard that you can start with this one. There's no back. The, there's, don't start with Yakuza One though. There's no backstory to be known. I'm actually serious. Don't, unless, uh, unless you they remake one. They did. It's called Kiwami. It's coming out next year. So don't start with one. Don't start with Kawa Ki Kawama. Start with Yakuza Shawarma. Followed by Yakuza Shisto. I have a really good idea. There should be a Yakuza game where Kazuma goes to another country. That would not work. Why? Because he doesn't speak English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. That's fine. You either have him be constantly, like, confused and everyone be confused by him, or you have magical Godzilla-verse where people that were English speakers understand Japanese and vice versa, and no one talks about it. That's so, awesome. That's our hero, gang. So he beat up this poor guy in, in that alley, and that's it. That's all he did. He beat him up. He just beat him up. That's all he did. Now, I'm going to be honest here again. I think we talked about this a bit last time. But if I could complain about anything about Yakuza's, yep. is the over-reliance of plot stuff based around development and real estate. Yeah. And I know that's a real criminal thing. Oh, that's okay. This is where our races are where taken that from. Comes from. I was like, where the fuck did he pull this there's awesome a tell shit? There's a tell me, tell me to fuck off. Okay, I was. Who this guy looks like? Kamiyama. He does look like Kamiyama. Growing up just a Yama. little bit. And then he's like, oh, what? To be fair, that's really Kazuma's fault. You could see that that was going to happen, but didn't care. Well, he's younger. He's a little brasher. He's, he's, he's brasher. Here's what I don't get when they chase, when they turn around to chase him, right? Like, he's clearly, even before you see the blood on his face, he's way bigger than they are. He's, he's bigger, but there are like five of them. And they don't know. I would like to point out that the Yakuza series does exist in an alternate Japan. An alternate Japan in which they, the, the Japanese people will be likely to start a fist fight over the slightest provocation. The slightest. Despite the presence of ne'er do wells who will fuck your day. Like, up. if you're wearing a suit, that's a big enough reason for someone to fucking jack your shit. 
Because you're wearing a suit. That, there's a specific style of suit with a specific style of pin. That means maybe you shouldn't fuck with that guy. Uh, maybe. Yeah, Could yeah. you imagine if mafia members were name tags? Well, I was going to say it's like the world ends with you where you have to uh, wear the right styles and the right pins in certain districts to get the best buffs. The best buffs. All right, this one, uh, this this one weird fucks around with all sorts of weird different kinds of cutscenes. Yeah. Oddly enough, it doesn't bother me like it does in like yeah. weird other games like oh, Onimusha 4 and other yeah. stuff I've complained about. Lots in the past where I hate varying to, like more than two. I hate that amount of different types of styles. Yeah, but to here get I understand why they do it. They do it because there are long, they are long stretches of dialogue, and it's not worth having 3D characters just sitting there talking. There, there are. I, I would say 50% of all dialogue scenes in these are shot like they're in fucking Japanese crime movies in which characters are sitting in an office. We were, we were mystified by this because we're like, look, they're moving slightly. Yeah. He's wavering back and forth. They're, they're sitting in an office with their feet up on a, on a sofa or something going like, crime, man. It's rough. It's, it's rough, rough out there. It's tough doing crimes. Please accept this money. You gotta, by the way, you got some... Like his eyes just moving, yeah, a little... You got some schmutz. You got, you got some, uh... Got some uh, sushi sauce all over your face. Just a little bit. You should take this money and spend it at the karaoke. Karaoke. <laughs> uh, I won't do it, Mr. Lone Shark, sir. I, I would like to be a Lone Shark one day. Because it's a cool... It, seem, it seems... Oh, what's, what's the other thing? What's, uh, not a lot of Lone Shark, uh, niece, a Shylock. Shylock? Yeah, that's also cool. Just a lawyer or an accountant that, that robs you, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's a lawyer. Or an accountant. Lawyers are evil. <laughs> the cool lawyers like Lionel Hutz are cool. I don't think... Knowing the street will get you further in life than a fancy degree. Mm, on the street it would. But how can you ever hope to be a salary man if you're a cool guy? No. No. I'm good. That has been uh, very much confirmed by everything. That a man with great skills can earn some break in the cash? Yeah. You get lots of food and chicks, man. They're all over. Yeah. You can find lots of food chicks just walking around. Yeah. It's basically like sexy pieces of pizza with like long legs and wearing heels. That's a creepy image. Is it? Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. Is there pineapple on that pizza? Uh, no. It's just generic looking pizza. It can't be fancy pizza, because that's not mainstream enough. I want to thank Wooly for helping me discover how great uh, pineapple and chicken pizza is. He was the... I also, I also want to thank him for that. He's the originator. Yeah. I didn't even know that it existed until Wooly came to my life. I was like, that life. seems like devious and, foolishness. And he said, remember what he said to <laughs> us? He was like, if you like anything <laughs> but pineapple on pizza, then you're trash and you should yell at me on my Twitter, he said five years ago. Yeah. Remember that? I feel like you may have gone a little too far. I may have gone too far in some places. Yeah. What a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, it's my like Kiryu's listening to us. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Refuses to eat anything but. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what was. I is it, this is game. it to tell me that Japan was just bouncier back in the day? Um, I didn't see that amount of bounce. The bounce factor was lower in the other Yakuza games that took place in the future. So I'm being how fun this club is. I'm being told by this intro that the 80s in Japan Rad. were like a, a time of absurd wealth. Like I think I think that would be true. The country was doing real well. I think it was. Wipe off your face, you fucking fuck. He didn't know. Okay. I don't know. The Couldn't first you mirror feel he feel that. I feel like you could feel if that. If it was dripping, but if it's just like residual blood splatter, then maybe it's like it doesn't. Wouldn't your head be all crusty and weird? Yeah, it would get crust. It would get some uh, blood crust. You know when you wake up in the morning, you got blood crust all over your face, and you're like, that does happen to me occasionally. Yeah, it's gross. It's super gross. I don't like it. Journal day fifty-five. Woke up in a pool of my own pus again today. 
What else is no? Pussy time with Edgy. No, wait, that's a different <laughs> that's thing. That's disgusting. That's a different thing. That makes it worse than with Edgy. Yeah. Modify the delivery on that and get something very different. But not much, really. Yeah, not much. It's a little bit. Different. A little bit. Man, you... Is this where the title card is? Yeah. Get? Kiryu is so weird because everybody else in the Yakuza series is lavishly modeled with all of their flaws intact. Yeah, he's pretty much flawless. They look like the bound by... Oh. You know, I'm going to say, I like his model in this. Uh, like, uh, aside from the visual fidelity, I like his model in, yeah. in, as a young guy. I think he looks kind of like a dork. He looks more like a normal games. human person. Yeah. But whereas so Kiryu has, like, these weird, perfect sculpted features that, like, look almost unnatural, except for this game. Yeah. This where Nishiki said he'd meet me. Guess I beat him here. Haha, -ha, uh, that's what stupid Nishiki. Pocket Bell. With, with his stupid beeper. That's, that's code, code for, for what you're up to. to. I'm waiting for your slow ass to show up. May as well have a look around and see if I can find him. Find Nishiyama! Kokama! Yeah, I'm the best. That's harassing NPCs. I'm the best. Time art of tradition. Okay, here's the map, and it has this horrible feature that I hate. Which, which it, the, it anchors itself onto things? No, where it, it, it? it wiggles around. That's what I mean. Let's check our unread message. The oh, that, that's code for what you're up to. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I forgot there's a way to, like, run. Yeah, I can run super fast. Look now, at me go. Now, you seem to be mystified at this last time. <laughs> Could you not run in the other games? You can't. Uh, at least not in combat. Oh, God, I forgot. Hand over the money. I told you to pay back. I can't Jeez. But you, but you won't, though. Oh, just leave me alone. Oh, I'm a nerd. And he's like, quit your whining. Give me your wallet. It's very, very common thing. And then, he, then he's just screaming out Tascate. And then Kiryu is, instead of like, oh, that poor man, he's like, oh, it's our place to do crimes. Give me your game and watch. I'm going to do all the crimes on my turf. Because they're supposed to respect Yakuza. Yeah. Like, if they're on their turf, you shouldn't do any, like, unwarranted crime crime times. Yeah, that guy looks like... Look at how dumb he looks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just an errand boy Yakuza. Yakuza. But, but that's better than you. You guys, hey, you guys know? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. What if, what if we we're are, the, man? We're the Yellow Bandana Gang. That's, my, that's all we have. My family, the, the, the QZs, they run, they run this place. Don't do it bad. The Yakuza chan. I don't know. You seem kind of like a dirtbag yourself, Yo Chan. You know, you know, like Virtua Fighter. Street Hooligans! Virtua Fighter Kids. There should be like a Yakuza Kids game where everyone's uh, super deformed. Uh, I think that would be fun. I also and, think or, that. And it would be drawn like Crayon Shin Chan. Oh, like, yeah. So it's got that like penciled look. I think that would be fun. I gotta kill these guys. Do you remember seeing all the uh, pictures of. Crayon Sim Chan cross Godzilla. No. That was an official team up. What? Yeah. That's weird. He was like, hey, don't stomp my house, and then Godzilla stomped the house anyway. Yeah, that's about it was right. rough. Yeah, Gage on the top is your health. Yes, you can, tell everyone at home. You can heal stuff. With what? What could you possibly Energy heal? Energy drinks usually. Aw, oh, yeah. Stamina X and Z and whatnot. Oh, that's a good throw. I like that. Oh, I guess I gotta kill you again. Uh, uh, uh. The he, training is now complete. He took some hits while that thing came up. Yeah. Was weird. No. I was I was talking to Willie about Yakuza not too long ago, and uh, he was like, "Oh, well, that's the spiritual successor to." I'm like, "It's not really the spiritual successor to anything. It's like, hey, let's make an open world action game." Because Grand Theft Auto is like, the, like we can do it too. Why do you keep comparing this to Grand Theft Auto? It couldn't be less like Grand Theft Auto. What I mean is, though, like just an open world game, and that's it. But it's not an open world game. It's like an ah, RPG with a, like a dedicated map. But I mean, it's open world in the sense you can go anywhere. Yeah, like in an RPG, you, have you a can lot go of that anywhere. Too. You know, fair enough. But Bonus details. 
I think what I'm going for is that the marketing of Yakuza One in North America was like, yeah, this is and, Grand and Theft that's Auto. that's like and what failed. fucked them forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not that, and it'll I never compare to that in that in those ways. What's the only game to get out of Grand Theft Auto Shadow? Saints Row, maybe. Saints Row, maybe. Red Dead, but that's another Rockstar that's, game. That's, yeah, it doesn't fucking count. Hey, it's Nishiki. Nishiki. I hope you don't turn evil in uh, 20 years. I would hate for you to turn evil now, Nishiki. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I was Go. trying to help out. Go get a massage on your penis. There's stores for that. It's called penis rub. Y'all can't see this, but I'm like nodding my head. And the penis rub mascot's like this happy little hot dog. Yeah. Huh? Why'd you thank us? Hands go in, stuff shoots out. That's what happy penis all about. I feel like there's another line to that, but I. Oh no, it's like knife goes in, guts come out. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. That's what uh, Osaka National Seafood Concern is all about. Damn. So this is a pretty innocuous start. Yeah. But the plot hasn't really. Happened I beat. Yet. I beat up a guy. And then I beat up some other guys, and then me and Nishiki are gonna hang out. Oh, we're gonna my bro. hang out. You can tell Kashi, that I'm a straight-laced Yakuza, oh my, and he's like a cool guy. Oh well, yeah, because he's got more flash. Yeah. And he probably he tells uh, Kiryu that he's like, you gotta get more flash, you're kinda boring. You're kinda boring, you idiot. But I'm an everyman. That'll put your dad at ease, they even should, though he's not your real they dad. They should have a future Yakuza game where they just got Mark Hamill back to play, uh, And he's the only English voice actor. Yep. The only one. That was amazing. Like, I don't to talk about it, but that was amazing, the voice cast for that game. It was ridiculous. They spent so much money on it for no good reason. For no reason. They spent all this uh, Hollywood talent. On a game that people just wanted the Japanese voices anyway. Like holy Christ! The, like I think I think Mark Hamill does a good job. Oh, he does a great he, job. He's a good Michael guy. Madsen does a great job as Shima. Oh no, I was gonna say he doesn't. I liked him. No, like his voice doesn't fit the game at all to me for whatever reason. It just struck me as odd. I forget who who played Kiryu. I want to know. Some guy. I want to look that up. There is one good part where he's like. Who wants some? Then step the fuck up! Get wrecked! And it's like, whoa. Whoa. That's what I expect. Number two in the whole... So, our dad's in jail. Good. Oh, he's not our real dad. That's fine. Because we're orf orphanos. No one really knows about us. Like, I think, like, in the 80s also, it was like, ah, oh, being Yakuza is awesome. Did you ever see that that article where real Yakuza members looked at like I think maybe three? It's three. Yeah. It's three. It's yeah. Amazing. And uh, that article is one of the best. There's there's two things that that stand out. One is the guys are like, oh, this is about the fucking real estate in 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 fucking uh uh the what's it the, the islands. What's the name of the fucking islands in Japan? Uh, I mean um. Okinawa. Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Oka Oka no, Okinawa. Okinawa. Okay. Right? They're like, oh man, that's going on right now. That's crazy. You guys got that in there. And then there's another one. It's like, oh, an orphanage. Huh? I used to know a guy who ran an orphanage. He got out of business, ran an orphanage. And they're like, oh, that's crazy. It wasn't a tax shelter. He's like, no, no, it was totally a tax shelter. But I mean, he's, he's it was still it's still a real orphanage. Did he ran? My favorite is when one of the yakuzis goes, what kind of fucking idiot starts punching people yeah, in the all... street? <laughs> We don't fucking do that! We get sent to jail every second! <laughs> he got really angry! You fuck- like, what? <laughs> you for real? What's up with that dress with the butt part out? That's funny. You can see it. What, you, uh, curious? No! That lady in the- in the- in the brown with the butt part. It was the style at the time. Yeah. It was acceptable in the 80s. You know? You've been trying out all the rubby penis places, Nishki? Happy penis. Happy penis rub rub, 
Kings of Power Penis, 4 billion percent. Okay, Daryl Curlio played Cosmo. I'm not familiar with that name. I think he's a no one. There are some really weird parts about that 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 voice acting thing. Oh God. And the weird part is that they call him Cosmo. Oh, he played some roles that we're familiar with in other games. Oh, are you serious? He played the final boss of Punisher. Oh yeah. The, the stupid John Saint and the dumb thing. Yep. Michael Rose, like Lex Luthor from Smallville? Yep. Did he play? That's crazy. Eliza Dushku was in it? Dude, it was, it was non-stop. Rachel Lee Cook? Cook? Everybody. It was absolutely crazy. Robin Atkin Downs was in there too, cool. I forget who he was. Yeah, it's uh, Jingu. Oh, Jingu's an asshole! Yo, hey, Jingu. Oh, fuck that guy. Get out of my way, bitches. Yeah, in your high-powered business suits. And your pastel colors. Yeah, I fucking look like, uh... Look, look like, like a crayon Mc pack. Allie McBeal. Which era, Allie McBeal? Early or late? Uh, pre-crisis. Pre-crisis? That's alright. That's alright. I love using the pre-crisis terminology. Yeah, that's, that's why we use it. It's gonna apply to us one day. Yeah. I think we're in pre-crisis. We're still in pre-crisis. It bet it's it's around the corner. My smack habits. Yeah, not that picking old. in just yet. Yeah. What? There's a fight happening. Looks like Let's it. have a fight. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could get drunk like an old Japanese businessman. There, there's something about this series where I like how straight Kazuma is, and everyone else is a dumb, weird asshole. Come on, you're in the way. Oh god, there's somebody who recently I think oh, I forget who it was. It was What's your problem, bro. It, you got it was a it was Eye Patch Wolf or Matthew Matosis or or, or or somebody like that who did a review of the Yakuza series and it's it like it's important that Kiryu like it it, it constantly oscillates between deadly seriousness yes. and absolute absurdity. And and madcap Japanese like game show hilarity. Yeah, and it absolutely should not work. And they, it should be, it should be like, poop and piss, where yeah, they're, they're that two bad tastes that taste worse together. I don't know. But instead, it's like peanut butter and chocolate. Wait, look at that old other guy down there. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Now you've done it. Yeah, come on, Grandpa, take your shot. And we're gonna look at this and be like, Aw. Hey, you know what I do when I'm drunk? I don't wander into alleys and and, and fight search dudes. for things. Oh man, they're wasted. Let's I take a different home look. And, and then he's like, no need. I've got a faster way. Faster than walking around them, Kiryu. Faster than nothing. Yeah, I just need to sober them up a bit with my fist. With my rub rub penis. Gonna take this out on them. <laughs> take what out? You already Again, beat up a guy. Can't tell if you're a sadist or a charity worker. Maybe both. I like I like a Kiryu that's a little less patient. I'm a sadist worker. What do you blab? Because there's a, there's a weird yeah. pro there's a weird problem later on, in which like he enters into a situation. Put out you butts! And there is a that you know immediately the instant the Kiryu walks into the room, this is only gonna get solved by him beating the ass of everyone in the room. Everyone. And heat gauge. Watch the blue bars. Heat gauge tutorial. At each level, your speed increases. Love this track. I love the fight track. Oh yeah, there's multiple, I think. Here, oh, I'm gonna get a blue aura. I'm gonna murder you. Oh no. You're gonna die, and I'm sorry about that. Oh. It's meaner than what he did to the guy whose job it was to beat him up. Yeah. You know, Check this like out. Like, why would you be like this? Like, Your you know, training is now complete. Like, you know games like Dead to Rights or The Punisher has these violent executions, but there's something more violent about it just being, like, punches and kicks and, like, environmental interaction. Yeah. There, 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 there's always, always, always a move where... Uh, yeah, so that's pretty okay. bad. Uh, there's always, always, always a move where they throw them against the wall and then they knee them in the face into the wall. Or something. And all I can think of every time is like, oh my god, you just killed that guy. Every like, time. Or you... Then these guys are like, whoa, thanks. Oh, what happened? Where am I? What was that? Who are you? <laughs> oh, I sobered them up and they've lost their memory because they have brain damage now. Because that's how that works. Must be your delicate... That part. was faster. Thank Remember you, Remember watching music and then we were talking about which idols we liked. Yeah. Some smart asses. 
He's making fun of my Shoko chans, and then, oh, I can't remember. My happy penis was throbbing. Oh, happy penis. Go home. Is that the character for this uh, LP that we've created? Uh, no, no, it's, uh, what did I say? Happy. Rub, rub, happy penis, 10,000%. Chan. Nah. I'll walk you to the train, old man. Oof. Oof thanks, you're awfully considerate. Or kid, you See? Fighting helps people, kids. Write that down. Now, unlike the Yakuza 4 playthrough where I had played through the whole game, I played through zero of this game. Ha ha, zero ha ha! But, um... Right. Uh, that gonna have to be slower on the dialogue because I have to read it this time. Yeah. That's fine. Because you would often do that and I'd be constantly confused Everyone would be like, happening. oh my god, I can't keep up. Uh, let's see. We'll get completion points. Some things will probably happen on their own, but others would require. So, it's, you exchange CP to earn special blessings. Special blessings. So do achievements to get boosts. Get, this, get, this, some, get some Sheikah blessings going. Oh no, a damn shame I say, said the aging oh, I foreigner. love aging foreigner! Somebody pointed out to me that this guy is pretty much just Speedwagon. You god. You gotta punch like a two-ton gorilla and you go wasting it on drugs, it's crazy. What do you think that talent was meant for? All that raw Your genetics fighting. predispose you for good fighting. What do you mean by that, foreigner? Look, I just helped a couple of guys work off some booze, that's all. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's the point. That's the problem. You want to take it? Why am I doing this? Fuck it. You want to do it? Yeah. That's you what want you want, kid. You take it from, from the toss. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ooh, that was bad. You oriental warriors. Hey, you're one of them Asian criminals, aren't you? Uh. Something like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I forgot his voice is like I that. did it before. Do you remind me of? You remind me of a character from like Way of the Samurai. Oh yeah, a little bit. Look, you're confident hey. in the fight. A real dynamite boy. Mm. Call me boy. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Don't get ruffled. You're a tiny baby. Oh. Yes. Here you. What is the holdup? Stop you ta talking to that weird albino man. Get him out of here. Send them back into the... Where are albinos from? They're from nowhere. Okay. That's, that's what I mean. No sense of time wasting on this drunk. Too much booze. Gramps, get out of this booze. Take care. Hey. Get out of booze zone. Hey, now. Hey, wait. Hold on. Hold, hey, you. Hey, yeah. wait. I got some advice. Oh, look at that cool porn ad in the back. Oh, that's cool. That's one. actually really well drawn. Yeah, very drawn. For pornography. Oh, very, very drawn. Much and, I, much. and I've got a friend waiting for me. I gotta say, say it quick, man. What? Oh, no! Oh, ho! Oh, ho! Out with a knife with your main dog? What are you, fucking... Now your main dog. You fucking... He's not, he's not my pet. Are you goddamn... He's my wingman. Sean man. Connery in Finding Forrester? Man, you've been about that. Recently. You're the man now, dog. Started a revolution. Did. Kind of. Sort of. Spend all your money playing around, you'll never get stronger. You can invest in yourself. This is the... This is the... Goofiest... Explanation Wait, for like this a gime? Yeah. No. 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 Just don't now booze. Invest in yourself literally. Eat the money. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Fucking what? Glad you asked. Here's a special lecture. Now what I think it's like it's it means like invest in yourself by meditating about the fights. It makes zero sense at all. The Yakuza uh sphere yeah, grid. Fine. Yakuza grid. Get the Yakuza grid. I acquired an ability. What'd you get? I got, uh, when I get wounded, my heat gauge goes up over time. Fine. Uh, let's boost your health. Whoa, can't do that. Let's throw your entire body behind a vicious kick. Can't do that. What about this one? Increases the power of your regular attacks and heat actions when using the brawler style. Well, so I, I remember when we got into this, Matt, the very first time we were doing the machine event. So, like, oh, 30,000. What's the next one? Oh, 400,000. That's crazy. What's the next one? Two million. Oh. Right? That's hot. 30 million. A hundred million. 400 million. Now, now I have a problem with 1 this. 1 billion yen. I have a problem with this because for moves to cost a billion yen, like, couldn't he quit the game? Yeah. He has a billion yen. He's a billion yen. He, whatever the, the main plot problem is, he could use, instead he could of use a billion yen to solve it, it. In, in himself. Well, that won't get you closer to the truth, man. That's true. You keep pouring money in yourself with a little training, and that talent yours will grow in no time. So keep the women and wine on a budget, right? No. So what? So what you need How to do is you need you to get a funnel that. and a and a and a shop that. Yeah. And you need to just blow money up your own ass. ass. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. But jam it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But the fact that Kiryu goes, you like a gym membership? He could be like, yeah. 
and then that's all I would need to help justify yeah. this. But he's like, no, shove it inside your body. Yeah. Eat the money. Just shove it into your eyes. Yo, Kiryu! I'm coming! You learning about investing in yourself? Yeah, I don't do that. That's why you beat me in the first game. Oh. All that serious talk killed my buzz. Time for round two. Have a good night, my boy. Gotta get my buzz back. Speedwagon withdraws. Going back to the foreigner Coolie. bar. What a weird old guy. What's his deal? So you cry. No. Well, Nishiki was standing there the whole time. Just not in the scene. Weirdly enough. Are oh, heads gonna... up, folks. I'm going to be doing the side quest off stream so that we can stick to the main story. If you want to see the end thing to the vast majority of those side quests, buy the game. Just, just buy, buy it. The g it's a good game. You should play it. It's a good game. But if you find any really good fun side quests, maybe we'll show those. Yeah. If I if I if I if I beat a side, I'll save before everyone, right? And if I find one that I'm like, this, this one, needs to be shown. I will do so. so. Fair enough. 